Yeah. We're getting on another series of complexes. The cool thing about complexes is it's kind of like Beyond Thunder doing my inner rules. You just put in what you want to put in. So I'm going to mix in a couple of, well, actually one specific old school uh, 1950s bodybuilder thing. And then uh, some that are a little bit more traditional. But uh, you'll see. First one, super wide grip. Grabbing the plates, not the bar, for the deadlift. We used to call those uh, Reeve, after Steve Reeves. Reeve deadlifts. Look them up, you young guys don't know them. Original Hercules, bodybuilder turned actor. Dude was legend. Then, bent over rows, clean, strict press. Strict press, or if you want, you can do a push press on those, and then back squat. You can do either sets of five, sets of 10, go through, cycle that one through 20 minutes. Now one of the really good things about bands is their versatility in terms of how they're giving you uh, resistance to a uh, multi-plane range of motion. Usually when you're using traditional weight. You have basically gravity is limiting what it is doing in terms of movement. Uh, as you'll see on these, I'm not only using the resistance of the band in one direction, but I'm going to be doing a lot of twisting. So I like these because you're able to program in a lot of different things and a lot of different ranges of motions you really can't get with, again, like singular plane movement using gravity alone. Bands, it's a lot less resistance because you're using your total body versus specific body part. Even with compound movements like a squat, you don't have the totality of body movement that you have in some of the band movements. 
So consequently, you're using a lot more muscle, they're going to be a little bit easier for you. So that's a real good complex to use as a warm-up. You're using all parts of your body, from your neck down to your quads, down to your uh, calves, everything. The, you know, real good deltoid, part delt, middle delt. You're getting in here, you're getting in here, your, your real delts, your traps, and you're doing those little things as well. So, that band complex is a fantastic one for either just a warm-up before you get into your main workout, or you can use it as a standalone too, depending on the resistance bands that you're using, the number of reps and the intensity. So, uh, in general, with intensity, there's a couple of different ways to do it. You can either do it by increasing the resistance. So I was using a purple band here, so you could uh, use it the bigger, thicker, the green band, so they're heavier, or you can, um, you know, double up. If the green bands are getting too light, put on a green and a red, or a green and a black, or a green and a purple if you're really trying to or something. <laughs> and then uh, you can also increase the intensity by uh, speed, decreasing rest, or by decreasing your speed on your movement. So if I'm doing my movement, I'm coming up and across like this. That's a degree of intensity, but if I'm moving slower, holding, leaning slower, holding, hang out, slower, and down. With a lighter weight, you can get actually a much more intense type of a workout by, by your tempo. The other way, one of the other ways rather, is you can decrease obviously your uh, your rest period in between your, your group and your set. So, do exercise one, two, three, four, immediately followed by one, two, three, four, or take a five second rest, 10 second rest, 10, 20 second rest, 30 seconds, depending on what your fitness level is, and go from there. But, so there's, there's a bunch of different complexes, and the thing about them is they're so versatile, so cool, you can throw in a bunch of different movements, but you can really, really, really get a great, intense workout in a short period of time. Try them out, let me know how they go.